April 16, 2013. 32 commanders fought over 8 R5 maps. These are the casualties. the grand finals and we got Rochford versus Constantini and this will surely be an epic encounter these guys are the most evenly matched people in the Anzac Mal tournament and this is going to be happening on the 4th of the 6th on Tuesday so tune in and watch it live on justin.tv backslash strat29 and in the meantime let's go through the player analysis Rochford a good tank player and decent at infantry use Rochford did quite well in the previous tournament placing 5th he has lacked play um, before the tournament, but not recently, as he has been taking this tournament quite seriously. But clearly this excuse did not affect his ability to beat the person who came second in the first round. Proving he can beat any player, he must be the dark horse of the tournament. But he has to watch out for his short fuse, which could work him up to a bloodlust killing spree, or cause him to explode, turning off the computer switch. To obtain victory, Rotrin may have to look deep within himself. Mm. Pros. He is above average player, but not anymore. I'd say he's one of the best players. He has improved his infantry and also has amazing tank use. Cons, lack of play, which is not so much these days, as he's definitely taken more seriously. And self-harm rage, I think he's fixed himself. So he's definitely looked deep within himself this tournament and will be the one to beat, in my opinion. Constantini. In the first tournament, he disappointed the masses by not fulfilling his destiny as a second seed. He was a player with flawless teamwork, best imagined as a baby calf feeding off his mother's tit. Something has changed with this whippersnapper. He can now recently fight for himself, moving out of home and also able to stand on his own in 1 vs 1. Having a lot of practice recently, he looks on form and very strong and could possibly be the one to beat. But he still drinks milk, maybe from the carton or maybe from the tit. Some say this is the source of very good gameplay, which slants towards infantry with a good handle of round grenades and other round things. His pros are good balance game, great infantry, cons, lack of pure on each mode, and also tank usage and macro game as we've seen in this tournament. G'day guys, welcome to the head to head analysis. Rochford vs Constantini, I really cannot pick a winner this time. The last time these guys have played in a practice, Constantini won it very, very narrowly. Before Rochford won the best of three in the winner's bracket final. So recently that is basically two games won each and two losses. So they're very, very evenly matched and all those four games have been nail biters. So I hope that the next best out of three matches in the final will also be nail biters. I'm sure it would be. The maps to be played with Schelt, Kruisberg and Bocage. With Schelt, I think this map will favour cons, especially with this infantry dominated map with lots of uh, river you can hide there to throw grenades in the centre and lots of buildings on the left hand side on the A team to throw grenades over. But I think it depends who gets the pick of the allies because USA and the shotgunners on that map definitely own each. As Kruisberg, I'm not too sure on that one, I think that's pretty even because infantry can definitely dominate. But I can see Rochford um, being able to take out a lot of tanks and possibly instill the tank domination and thus the 20mm dom domination of that map. Uh, Bacaj, not sure about that either. It's pretty even too in my opinion, but the last game Cons is won, so I'd probably tip Cons to win that one if it does go to us the third game in the best out of three. So this bit of analysis here with the amount of uh, kills, I've actually tallied the points here. So the vehicles that Rochford have killed and lost is 20 to 14 here, so pretty even ratio here. I kind of think that Rochford will have a better ratio in terms of vehicles, but it looks like he buys a lot of vehicles and loses quite a few of them. Possibly there could be light vehicles involved. Infantry wide, it's almost a 2 to 1 ratio here, so Rochford actually doing very well in the infantry encounters here. 372 kills, 288 losses. 
you compare this to Concertina here, vehicles killed, 21, vehicles lost, 13. So it does, it actually is very even to Rochford's statistic there, which uh, is a bit strange. I thought Rochford had a much better one in that opinion, but infantry-wise, Concertini has lo lost 374 infantry, but has killed 442. So you can see Concertini's infantry statistics there is basically almost a one-to-one, -one, but you can see he spams that infantry a lot. So Rochford um, needs to, by looking at stats, uh, Rochford definitely needs to go infantry killers. But anyway, it should be an epic game, so see you guys on Tuesday. Also, I want to just thank everyone for participating in this tournament. Everyone fought well and hard, and those who have fallen have definitely improved as players. With losing comes learning, and we are now more equipped to take on the world in the International Mount Tournament, which comes on this week. So move aside the world, the Australians are coming to defeat everybody.